so this morning this morning session was really about today's today's performance and there's a lot of talk about what happens with with the discussions today well you've laid down some challenges and we need to be really transparent with you throughout the course of this year and by the time we come to next year's re resident conference so through communications on our on our website and through other means what's changing when so that you can continue to hold us to account for what the things that have been said today so that's the most important thing is from the morning session is us being able to continually communicate with you what's changed as a result of what you've heard today so when we come here next year you can say you said you said that you did that it's making a difference or it's not making a difference for the discussions we had this afternoon this is still at quite an early stage of developing the next strategy and it's really important to get feedback at this stage because if we can get this feedback built in right at the beginning it will be the right thing so what's happening immediately after this is the facilitators will be writing up what's happened in the discussions and that's going to be taken to group board in a couple of weeks time when they have their away day when they look at these when they have a look at these these themes and issues alongside members of resident services board and, and others so that they can then take those into account in continuing the process of setting the next strategy and what we need to do after that is give feedback to the people in this room of what happened with the with the feedback from that session so you know we can continue to assure you that these discussions are are really shaping what happens in uh, shaping what happens in the future direction of the organization but in order to wrap up i'm going to hand you over to uh liam who is our new uh, chair of our group board starting from September, who's been here all day today. Thanks, Neil. And Fian, <laughs> and Fian, who obviously started the day. So it's, we want to have a nice sort of round the day off with Fian and Lee. Okay, we're just sorting out the running order. Don't worry, it's who's okay. gonna go first and second. Um, right, well, I'll, I keep it short because I know that Fan and I are the two people that are standing between you and your Saturday evenings and you've already committed a huge amount of time to us today. So we've both promised to be to each other to be brief. Um, so I, I got asked to do a couple of things and I promise I, I promised all the exec team I would do this. So one was introduce self um, to myself. <laughs> so I'm Liam Coleman. I'm I joined the board a couple of days ago. I will be stepping up to be the group chair in September um, and very proud and honored to do so. Um, my background is uh, actually, where's Wacker gone? He's disappeared now. So there he is. Um, so Wacker and I share a sort of background in, in uh, finance. That's, that was my day job for many years when I was an executive. Um, when I stepped away from that, um, I became chair of an NHS trust, which I still am, and um, I'm on the board of the Financial Conduct Authority. So, much talk today about vulnerability, um, which I share all the concerns that have been expressed about how we deal with vulnerability in services, public services. Um, I see it every day in the role I do in the NHS. I see every day in the role I do in the NHS how housing has a massive influence on health outcomes. Um, so housing, why it's important to me, um, that's at the heart of why I would wanted to do this job. Um, and Fian and I were talking about this at lunchtime, how that triangle of housing, health and education feeds into each other in a both a positive, but also unfortunately at the moment in quite a negative way that if one doesn't work, it, it hugely influences the other two. So um, I don't think it, I can say it any better than that. It's absolutely vital the role that housing plays, both for its own benefit, for your benefit, and, and for the, the wider health economy as well. We see it every day. Um, I found today hugely valuable um, in terms of being able to sit on a table and listen to some of the very direct and very honest, frank feedback that people have been willing to give, and then listening to all of the groups that have been feeding back today. Um, I think Fiona asked for warts and all this morning I think you've got it warts and all haven't you in terms of nobody's held back in terms of any of the comments that they've made and thank you for that honesty um, 
some of the things, and this will probably bias towards my table. So apologies if I dob anybody that was sitting near me in on this one, but I won't mention names. Um, some of the things I'm taking back uh, today, um, actually it was from elsewhere, the role and support for the NHL role within the organization. I think it's come loud and clear to me how you as residents uh, need to know who those individuals are, need to feel that they're supported and, and um, valued by us inside the organization and the role that you feel they play for you inside the organization. Yeah. Loud and clear, understood. Um, making ourselves easier to deal with. I think it's been mentioned in any number of ways, single points of contact. Uh, why are we running around the organization to try and contact people in the organization? Surely you should be making yourselves really easy to deal with. Um, efficiency, why am I spending lots of time on the phone? All those sorts of pieces. Heard, understood. Um, being better on communication about things that matter to you. Not things we think matter to you, but things that actually matter to you, and not things that matter to us, but things that matter to you. Um, listening, understanding, and acting. So we've heard a lot about listening. I think one of my colleagues talks about listening and understanding, I think it was you, Tom, that actually it's not just the listening piece, it's the understanding piece, but then it's the acting piece. Um, I think in the last session, somebody made very clear, I've been here for a number of years, I've heard you talk about what you're gonna do, but it hasn't changed much. I'd like to come back here next year, be able to tell you in words that you believe, in actions that you've seen, that some of it has changed. So heard, loud and clear. Um, talking to fan at lunchtime, people will walk through your door, if I make this promise. It doesn't matter whether they're a contractor or a full-time employee of LNQ. They're LNQ. They're the face of the organization to you. So I can tell you about who's a contractor or a subcontractor or a subcontractor of a subcontractor or whatever else it is. That's my problem. How it interfaces with you is the face of our organization. And that's important. I will say I've heard nothing from my colleagues in, in the process I've gone through to get this job that makes me anything other than confident that everybody wants to get better, that we do understand where it's not as good as it should be, in some places really not as good as it should be, and we've got to get better. So I don't think we're unclear on the challenge. Um, lots more, there are stickies I know that have been being collected but those are just the bits that, that shouted out to me amongst today's feedback. And huge apologies to my table if I pull too much on some of the direct feedback, but I promise unattributed in the book. I haven't written anybody's, I haven't written anybody's name down. Um, the, last, the last point I just wanted to make was in terms of the feedback that'll come through, I know all the board members that are here today and I know the executive are committed to taking this feedback and doing something with it, acting on it is an important part of this. So I just wanted to make that personal commitment to you, that I want to be able to stand here next year and actually answer the question, was it different this year? I'll answer it, yes. Might not be everything, but it will be important things. Um, thanks for giving up your Saturday. Thanks for spending time educating me, to educating me, stepping into the role. I'm very grateful for that. Very, it's a very, uh, very useful opportunity when you step into a role as a chair to actually hear from the front line of the front line firsthand. You get it unvarnished and that's usually valuable. So thank you. I'm gonna pass over to Fair now, but um, I look forward to seeing you all, not just next year, but across the, across the year as I step into this role. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much, um, Liam. So I think it is really good um, to have Liam on board with his um, skills and experience and, and I think commitment to improving services um, for residents. So I did just want to say, um, Aubrey, our um, current year, uh, Aubrey Adams wasn't able to be here, although you very much wanted to be, um, but he will be looking forward to hearing all the rich feedback that came uh, out of today. So I just want to um, say thank you all so much for your um, care and insight and your 
just openness and honesty. I think the thing that I value most about residents, you get straight to the point and you're clear and concise. And I think you've you've really been heard here today. And I think it is a testament to everyone in the room. I think the energy is as high and now as it was as night nine a.m. in the morning. So that, I think that really shows that focus and, and commitment. But I think it is an energy you want to see things through. Um, improve and I and I think um, you know that's fair and I think um, we have to work together in a realistic and honest way for that to happen and so I, I think all the insight is as Liam said as everyone said is, uh, is going to be captured from today because I think it's really important for you to see how your insight is is used and we've got to feed that back to you because I think we haven't always done that um, in the past as effectively as we should but I think um, we're going to uh, look to feedback to you in ways that um, work for you so that you can see see that difference and build that difference with you. So I think um, uh, being involved in engagement is an ongoing process. So this isn't it. So there will be um, many more sessions like this in person, online. And, you know, because we have to uh, continue to get that feedback are we doing what we say does it does the service feel like we we want it to feel and we can only hear that from you so we need to do that in the way that works for you and really very much committed to do that so really uh, thank you all so much